Sanbalani, do me lani, upshani. Hello, welcome back to Curious Salad Reads. I am Curious Salad. Welcome back to my channel to your returning subscribers. And welcome back to the month of May, in which I'm reviewing books by other African authors. Next on this list, today's review is literally dedicated to a book I absolutely loved. It is by Namina Fauna. Yes, Namina Fauna, The Gilded Ones. don't judge a book by its cover i'm telling you to judge a book by its cover like it's so pretty it is absolutely gorgeous and oh guys the book the book it's giving me it's giving me life i am gonna try not to spoil it because um the sequel is coming out at the end of may and so I want to read the sequel and I want you to read this one and the sequel because Namina is the girl that gives. So firstly, okay, so Namina is like a Sierra Leone American author and she literally wrote this fantasy book and I absolutely love it. Love it. You know when you're reading a book and like midway or like you're still in it and you're like, I can't wait for the next one. That's what I got from this one. Literally, I was still like in the first couple of chapters and I was like, I cannot wait for the next one because I absolutely loved it so much. This is my first five star, no, five star rating of the year? Possibly, maybe, yes, I don't know. I am rating it a five out of five solo stars. That is how much I absolutely loved it. That is how much I cannot wait for the next one. So, The Gilded Ones, Nick. You actually like honestly now I've I've read it like there's certain like a when actually I need to calm down. <laughs> the gold, the gold around the edges makes so much sense now that I've read the book. It's like it's it's sis. So are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? This book, one of our main characters in this book is by the name of Deka. So Deka is a young girl. She's just about to turn 16. When we meet her, she's in her village. And this is in a world, it's set in, goodness gracious, I'm going to put it somewhere up here. It's set in that part of the world. And um, I think it's what would be present this year alone possibly um there's a map i love books with maps by the way there's a map okay to help you understand this world it's called a terra so um our girl here is born in the northern parts and i love how it like the way Namina wrote it, it she, she built this book so that you understand what's going on. And like it's told in a narrative, narrative style, um, third person. And um, we see this world being built. We see Deka and uh, the world through her eyes as well. And um, so she's in, she's in Oterra and Oterra is um a place which has strict laws right different parts of it have have stricter laws obviously but it's got strict laws especially with regards to women so women are not supposed to just walk around with their faces uncovered um they're not allowed they are literally <laughs> the phrase they use is that women are literally brought on this world to help men that's it. They are meant to be submissive and they're meant to just get married, build families, and that's it. That is their destiny. That's all they are destined for. And that's what she wants, actually. Um, so she grows up in this um, northern part of Atera, um, where most of the people there are kind of lighter skinned. So she's a darker shade because her mom is from the south. And um, so she never feels like she actually belongs. And so she feels like there's this um, rite of passage sort of um, um, ceremony that happens um, to girls that are just about to turn 16. And once they turn 16, actually, 
um, they call it the purity ceremony, um, in which they are they are cut and then the their blood is supposed to run um red. Um, and if it runs gold, then it means that they're not pure, it means that they're demons, right? So she's freaking out about this ceremony. It actually reminded me of uh the hunger games <laughs> um because of, of how it's set up like there's, there's like oh my gosh all of these elders are there and then they they recite from the book of wisdom so it's not the, called the book of wisdom i forgot what it's called but yes they recite from that book the holy book and it's 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 what governs them it's what governs um um, um the village and and also you know their ways and um unfortunately just around the time when they 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 are about to do the ceremony um the village is attacked right so the kingdom is constantly attacked by what they call death shrieks which are these monstrous creatures that have claws and their shrieking cries can literally burst um um, um people's eardrums and so as she's about to be you know tested um the, the, her village is attacked and so she um she freaks out you know everybody's running people are getting attacked there's blood there's some soldiers that were there um because with every 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 purity ritual there are soldiers that were just sent through to assist but then these soldiers were like recruits you know so they barely have any experience attacking or fighting off these dead shrieks so she sees that um the soldiers are like losing and so now the men of the village are are, are, are taking up arms and they're about to start fighting her dad included and then she sees her dad is about to get attacked and then something compels her to shout at this dead shriek and to tell it to leave and when she does that uh this is when um it's like her powers are activated this is when they discover she's not pure and that she's a demon. And her dad looks at her with disgust. Everybody in the village looks at her with disgust and she doesn't understand why. It's because her eyes have changed and they kill her. And it's like, what the if? I'm going to stop there. Just that scene. <laughs> Just that scene on its own. Anyway um uh, Deka is then um goes on a journey yes she died but she goes on a journey <laughs> i'm not telling you how else she died she goes on a journey and uh she finds other girls like her and it just sets her off on a journey of self-discovery and her power and then she actually learns that what she wanted you know how the her dream of being submissive and you know bending to men's will isn't really wasn't really all that she finds her voice she finds her power she finds her confidence i love that for her i'm here for it it leaps and bounds i love it love it love it love it, love it. i love it when a character grows and you see the growth okay it's not like um in one chapter she's out here falling crying and then in the next chapter she's out here a warrior killing everybody no you see it you see it build up you see it like bit by bit and i love the way that namina wrote this it's her debut novel by the way and i can't wait for the next one i think i'm gonna stop this review here because i feel like i'm gonna keep spoiling it for you guys and i don't want to do that but the world building characters in this book um i love it i'm trying to hold myself back because i'm gonna say so much but i love it so the world building was absolutely beautiful um you could see the different parts of the world the different villages the way she describes them the way the different um villages are the people from the north from the south from the west from the east you see it in their mannerisms and their skin tone in their beauty you know you see um you see the the, the 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 training grounds you see there's all of these other elements that are put in all of these other politicky things that are happening you see things that happened in the past 
you know, you get you get a sense to understand what's happening. You know, there's all of these underlying things like little um, a web of 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 a build up of of you know to the climax and the climax. I like the fact that the way it ended. I'm okay with the way it ended. Like even if there wasn't a second book, I'd be like, it's cool. I like the way it ended. It's like everything is gonna be okay. But this is a second book. And I can't wait for it. It's like, ah, yes, bring it. So yes, five out of five salustas. The Gilded Ones. Absolutely amazing. Ah, goodness gracious. Absolutely amazing. Okay, do <laughs> comment down below if you like this review, if you read the book, if you can't wait for the next one, let me know down below what you think, okay? Let us discuss this book. Let us go crazy about it because I cannot wait. But yeah, until then, until next time, I will see you in the next review. Bye!